What is up, PTU crew? It's Market Mondays with Pika Papa. Disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. This is a channel done by some guy that has a bunch of Pokemon in his closet. I am not licensed to give financial advice. You should do your own due diligence whenever doing investments. You should know your own wallet, what you can afford, so on and so forth. Let's get right into it. Collection boxes. <coughs> Excuse me. Are they investable? Yes. Are all collection box, box bulls investables? Eh, on a long enough timeline, maybe. The problem is, some people don't realize there are ones that are not that good. This Pikachu V box, kind of seen it everywhere. You can get this one, um, sometimes discounted $13. You can buy a whole case of six at that $13 price. That is almost distributor prices, maybe even a little lower on certain sales. Um, if you hold this box for a long time, they flooded the market with this box. You might be able to make some money on it. It's a little bit smaller, a little bit easier to ship. Let's say you do hold this box. At some point, it is going for $45, $40, which is about double its MSRP of $19.99. And let's say you bought it for that $13 price. So you sell it for $40 on eBay. Let's say you charge them shipping. Let's say they paid the $9 shipping it's gonna to take to ship this thing. Um, so they paid the shipping, so you made your $40. eBay is gonna take 13%. So what is a quick rough, that's about three bucks, right? So now you're at 37, is it $3? $1.50 per 10 times four, it's $6. Okay, that's why I was like, that's exactly. So you got $34 that you're gonna get, depending on how much you're packaging in your box, the stuffing, the stuff to liner, whatever. Okay, so maybe a couple bucks. Let's say you make that whole 30, maybe 33 bucks. So you held this for four or five years to make 13 bucks per box. I mean, yeah, you doubled your money, but that's a crazy if. I don't really recommend these boxes. The same with these. They printed these to the moon, the same idea. You do get these nice little promos. It comes with four packs. Some of these boxes, like the Meowth box that, that came out at the beginning of Sword and Shield, here is a six pack box. These are the, um, these ones you can find on sale. They're retailed for $30. Um, I believe at certain points you can for like 22. I even maybe seen it go as low as that $20 price. This one is way better than the other one because you're getting V star, you're getting two, you're getting the jumbo, and you're getting six packs. Is this a six pack? Oh, five packs. Excuse me, five packs. You may make around that like fifteen or twenty dollars if it really does well at some point, but I just think this is an easier sale because the customer is getting more. Okay, let's get into these better ones that make now this. This is how I look at a great box: is the promos. When the promos are really good. This is an exceptional box. These promos are super good. This one right here, I think is going around $33, $34. This one's going about $20, $24. These alone right here are getting close to that $60 mark. This originally retailed for $40, but immediately it was like people went after this like crazy. Uh, you could find it out in the wild. You had to put a little effort into it. You could find that box out in the wild. They just had like, and well, I don't think it was a reprint at all. I think it was a restock of some stuff distributors were holding on to they had leaked out a couple of those if you were lucky to find those recently in the last couple of weeks at your walmart slash target you get that for 40 bucks it's already worth i think they're going around low 70s right now i i didn't have time to look all this stuff up i did but i didn't do it because there's so many boxes like another one great promos these gold promos this one really fell in price it was worth around that 30 dollar mark when this box first came out i i believe it's hovering in that 10 10 to 15 dollar range the jumbo is about five to seven um people do buy those jumbos they just don't sell that fast but people this one they do buy comes with 10 booster packs it's a wonderful box the only little tricky with this box is it's very easily ripped right here a lot of them have a rip right here i have some that are in mint condition this one did have a little rip right here that's going to bring down the value of the sealed box when you try to sell it this is one of those larger boxes look at the size of it people don't realize one of the trickiest things to investing in any kind of collectible is when you have awkward boxes like this shipping people don't think people think like oh i just get this and it goes up in value and then i just sell it 
You have to pay fees on the site that you're selling it. I mean, um, there are certain ones that don't really charge fee, like um, Facebook Marketplace. The risk goes up. I mean, you're meeting people in, in person. People that are risk, I mean, fee adverse, don't don't invest in collectibles. You're not gonna have a good time doing it. You're just gonna have to buy fees sometimes. The fees for like Amazon or other, um, or eBay, those fees protect you because you're going through a service where the money is being changed between the intermediate. Yeah, you're paying that fee, but it's a safer transaction. There's a lot of people trying to scam out there, selling and buyers who, who do little scams to try to get your stuff for free or get discounts or whatnot. Back to the boxes though. That's why I'm not super hot on collection boxes anymore. These special ones, this one, this, this one, these are special. These are going to sell in the future. Stuff like this. This one's like in the middle, but four, four packs like this and this calorie boxes, they printed a ton of these. Um, you, they would have to be an Urshifu fan or a Calyrex fan. These are new Pokemon. They're trying to pump them up. Maybe in the future, when those Pokemon are more popular, possibly. Right now, that's a it's a tough buy. I know I'm like jumping off camera. I have all this stuff, all these. Something like this. Look how awkward this is to ship. Like these, I've been... So uh, what makes a good box is it gives you options with this box you can break them down as you see i've already broken some of these down i've de um, took them apart to get these packs these packs right now are six dollars and on the train up uh, anything celebrations anything celebrations this one too i just bought this one online i bought it for 33 dollars originally it was 30 dollars retail so i basically bought this just at retail it was really minty but this is one of the dangers of shipping one of these boxes i don't know if you can tell it's got crushed over here. When it was originally, I saw the picture online, it was totally fine, but the way he shipped it, because he, he lost money on this box, he sold it for 33, he had to pay fees, he had to ship it, because it was uh, sold under free shipping. He shipped it in this way, in this little bag thing that got crushed, because he was trying to break some of his money off. He, he, lost, he lost half his money on this box. After fees and shipping, he lost half his money on this box, because I, I know I've been rambling, I have so much information to give out, Investing in Pokemon is a long game. Three, four, five years is the shortest that you're really going to be able to flip most products for any kind of real profit after fees and shipping. This guy, he gave up. He made it about a year and then he gave up because he couldn't make it that two, three, four, five years is the minimum. And then when you really get into that seven, eight, ten years, the product goes up. But people forget, in seven, eight years, there are going to be people who want some of these boxes that I just showed, especially the ones that are more special. This one, people are going to want this one, as far as I know, for a very, very, very long time, and the demand will be high for that one. Certain ones, the demand's not going to be high for this one. Yes, will this box eventually go to $40, $45? Yes, possibly. They printed this one to the roof. You're gonna make your $15, but it's gonna, it might take six, seven years investing in a box like this. This one I could sell at any point and I'm gonna make a profit. I bought this at retail. I bought this for the $40. At any point I could sell this and make a little bit of money. With a great box, like I said, I could take this apart, sell the promos, sell the packs individually, sell the pin and make money. Those are the best boxes. The boxes you can break down. Like I bought a case of these. These ones, everyone knew that they were gonna be pretty hot. It comes with a pack of um, Cosmic Eclipse and it comes with this awesome promo and it comes with this figure. These are not gonna end up in another box somewhere. 99.9% .9 of this exclusive to this box. You're getting uh, brilliant stars. You got a nice little chilling rain there and you got a, a, a Cosmic Eclipse. I bought this for retail, $25. A lot of people bought this box and a lot of people are holding this box. So this one's going to be interesting because I'm going to have to compete with those people and see who can hold this the longest until I get to that value, that price point I want to sell this for. I want to sell this box for $100. That's my price point, $100, maybe even $120. That way after shipping and fees, I'm going to come out with a nice little two times on this product. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm hoping to see out of a product like this. 
we hear the little dog barking. Okay, I'm gonna end on this little Eevee box. Pokemon Go is a set. I'm not 100% sure what it's gonna do in the future because it's based around a technology. We don't know if people are gonna be playing Pokemon Go in five, 10 years. We don't know if the app is still gonna exist, what it's gonna look like. The set may be able to stand alone. I still love this box because it's one of those boxes I explained that can be broken up. If, if for some reason people are just not loving Pokemon Go, this comes with that awesome Eevee play mat that goes for $20 to $25. This was a $50 box. You can get them right now on Smoke and Mirrors for $44. The, the playmat in itself is worth $20 to $25 easily. It's a beautiful playmat. This promo is an awesome promo. I think it's still worth around $4 to $5. And if even if it dips down in the future, this, this is a promo I could see start to trend up because it only came in this box. They're not reprinting again. It's not like they're making Radiant EVs and they're gonna distribute them later on. This is the only way you can get that Radiant EV. It's an awesome promo. You get these eight booster packs, this awesome pin. You can take this box, break it apart, kind of like I did with that uh, Pikachu VMAX celebrations and make money on this box by piecing it apart. Those are the best boxes to invest in. It's gotta be special. I wouldn't recommend any of the four pack boxes. I mean, I, uh, unless they're special. This is a four pack box that comes with a special promo, a cool promo that in itself, when this, I don't, I haven't checked on this promo in a while. If you wanna comment down below and check on these promos I pointed out and put out the prices, that would be sweet. I know it's worth a few dollars, and I know this is, again, this is another one of those promos. Very playable. It's gonna, people are gonna want this promo in the future. It only comes in this box. It comes with the Cosmic Eclipse pack that's already worth 10 bucks. Um, the, the $10 pack, this and this already together, you're looking at 20 something dollars. This was 30 bucks retail. You know, see what I'm saying? When the in, contents inside individually you break them up are worth a good amount, that's when you know you have a strong box. Um, I know I jumped in and out of the camera a lot, but I was trying to show you a lot of different boxes that are out there, um, and there's a lot of differences between them. Are, so to answer the question, are Pokemon collection boxes investable? Yes. I think they tend to take a longer time to kind of creep up in value. Um, each box is different. Um, just be a little careful with them. Don't, like, not every box that come out is gonna be great. Try to invest in the special ones ones you might like this one you could put up and it's gonna look great on your pokemon shelf with a couple of your other items it's got those wonderful alternate arts you can just sit there and enjoy the sealed product for yourself and then eventually if it gets to that price point where you feel like you're gonna make something on it and it's worth it to you to sell then then you got something uh i personally am shifting more to booster boxes a little less on the etbs booster boxes are those you know staples and that's kind of what I'm pushing. Um, unless they're special, then I don't really hold on to them. I've actually busted a lot of my collection boxes open, sold the packs individually because they just take up a lot of space and that can hurt you in the long run. Uh, thank you for watching. Pika Papa always says, you gotta catch them all. Bye.